These beautiful things are uh, the brainchild of Justin of Tier 1 Gear Reviews. And if you're not subscribed to him, I'll put his, uh, I'll put his information down below. You got to follow him on YouTube and Instagram. This man is not only cool and generous, he's loaned me a number of knives in the past to check out, uh, but he's quite the designer. And uh, this is something that he has come up with um, and that Old Squirrel Custom Knives have created along with Guster Leather. So let me just show these off to you. Um, these are so up my alley uh, and you'll see why in just a minute. Here, we'll start with this one. Um, but Bob, you don't like ringed things anymore. Well, that's true, they're, they're not my first choice, uh, but this one is especially well done. And it's got that blade. So these are called the scythe. These are called scythes. And uh, just like the Grim Reaper walks around with that scythe and harvests souls. All right, I'm gonna get corny. You can no doubt do that with this. This is a just a pretty fearsome self-defense knife. Um, and yes, this secondary edge is very sharp. Um, so what, what do you use this knife for? Well, this is a um, box opener. No, this is a, really a self-defense knife and it takes advantage of your arcing motion, your gross motor motion uh, when under stress and um, is truly like a claw or a talon. People talk about karambits as being like claws but what animal what animal uses their claw like this no they reach out and pull in and that's what this kind of pical style knife uh is good for and pical uh style knives uh, that stands i don't know what pical is a filipino term but when you hear that term it means tip down edge in tip down edge in and that's either an orientation of a regular blade or a knife that is uh, meant to be that way. And by that, I mean, yeah, I could hold this in a Picala style grip, tip down, edge in to great effect, but it's not a knife intended for that, whereas this is. All right, so what do we have here? Uh, beautifully, beautifully uh, done blade here with really nice marbled carbon fiber. And uh, I have, Sp I'm spacing on the blade steel right now. I think it's 80 CR. Uh, I don't know. I'll put it in the description below. But uh, as I as I speak now, I realize I had I do not know uh, what the steel is. But great placement of that ring. A lot of times the ring is a problem for me because of placement and also what I've heard. So this is not straight up off the top. It's canted forward, which is what you want. You want your fist to be in a natural position. You don't want your finger out like that. Um, so you can get a natural grip on that. And then if you do the tricks and the twirls and such, you have these little divots here to stop, to arrest the motion. You know, if you're gonna, if you're holding it like this and you're gonna flip it out to extend it, bam, and peck someone with that on the forehead or something, you have this to stop with. Okay, so this is one version, and uh, here's a really, really nice uh, carbon fiber, um, carbon fiber look, Kydex sheath, beautifully done, and uh, holds it nicely, not too tight, loose enough that you can pull it out in a real uh, pinch, and not have much difficulty at all, or any difficulty. Um, and then here, the, here are two other versions of the same knife, the scythe, uh, but they are ringless, as you can tell. And then these two are beautifully presented in these pocket sheaths by Guster Leather. Um, so you see the ulti clip sits down there in your pocket. It's shaped to the contour of your pocket. And then you just clip it down, boom, there it is. And only that sits out of your pocket. Uh, but let's take a look at this. Look at that. And that's how it sits inside of that beautiful stout leather sheet. This is really beautifully done. Are you going to go to work today, Dad? Oh, oh, excuse me. Sorry. Yes, I'm going to work today. Uh, my daughters have uh, are, are watching and now participating. <laughs> this one, uh, as you can see, is ringless and 
and you get that wasp waste uh, in the handle there. So you have something for your fingers to really grip onto and that swell up there really makes for a good um, purchase point because it widens and and you get to tighten your middle fingers around that. It feels really solid in hand. You can cap the top there, but there's no extra handle space uh, for someone to be able to disarm you. Um, and what I mean by that is at least theoretically in a combat situation, say with a knife, um, say you've got it in this reverse grip, this is just a random knife I happen to have here, um, but you've got that puño up there well, who knows in a in a conflict how that might be levered out of your hand. I mean, I know that this is this sort of puño disarm is something used in Kali. Uh, of course, you'd have to damage the person enough to be able to do that. But with this, that handle is buried in there. As long as you can maintain your fist and your grip, you are good to go. And speaking of which, I don't like fist loads. I don't like punching things with with other things in my fist. But this is thin enough and flat enough on the sides that it's a it's not going to turn and b it does not it does not uh take my fingers out of a natural posture for a punch so if you were to just hold this and one two or you could even hold it like this and one two someone i mean that blade is just going to uh really aid your boxing let's just put it that way so if I were to get one of these scythes, I would get it without the ring for that reason. Uh, well, I, I'm less facile with the ring, and I just think in a natural fist grip like this, if you're punching, uh, you know, jabbing and crossing, uh, hooking and, heaven forbid, hammer fisting, uh, this thing is just going to be right on time. Love it. Uh, so he shipped me, uh, he shipped these all to me with kydex sheaths also to check out so these all have kydex sheaths here's probably my favorite though first of all beautiful sheath with that leather stitching and this leather i don't know what kind of you know faux crocket i don't know what kind of leather that is but looks really cool got that ulti clip and look at this oh i love this one a lot it's got that acid wash i think he said he messed up the tip on this one but i like the solution it's probably a little stouter even, um, but it's got that acid wash. You've got the red ray skin, so beautiful under the Sukamaki wrap there. And it all fits in the hand. It's so thin, this would drop in the pocket with that, with the Kydex sheath like nothing. It's super, super light too. So this, this is my favorite. Plus I find that the Japanese grip, the Sukamaki wrap has the alternating peaks it really makes for an outstanding grip. Uh, all of the knives I have with that lacing, I, I just really love it because of the sort of purchase you get. All right, so this one is also double-edged. They're all double-edged. Let, uh, let me show these off with a couple of uh, noteworthy Pical style knives. I will, I will do this so that you can see the, eh, I'll take this. I'll compare it to my favorite of them here. All right, so the one uh, that pops to mind immediately is the Copus Designs Elvia, the, the collaboration with Ed Calderon. I had this one wrapped by uh, Bright for War. Josh Mason did a beautiful job on that. Uh, this is known for being light and thin. Of course, I had him fatten it up with that lace, but light and thin, well, this is lighter and thinner. Uh, here's another one that's pretty popular. This is the pick, uh, the yeah, the, the uh, Ditch Pick by JB Knife and Tool. This one is double-edged, which I love, um, but originally came as a Pical, so just this back edge sharpened. Um, here it is with the Drog by Rib Splitter, another uh, maker of these Pical style knives. Just really nicely done, beautiful looking blade here. And then let's see, one more, one more. Here, I'll show it with, now this is your standard Victorinox fruit knife uh, with the Ed Calderon treatment, i.e. I heated the handle and bent it, put the little finger notch uh, for, perch, for grip and for indexing, and then I wrapped it with 
string. Super light, super thin. I made this little sheath, drops it, drop it in the pocket. And then you'll see this on a lot of Pakal style knives and and self-defense fixed blades that go in the pocket, but a little, little hook on the Kydex sheath so that when you pull it out of your pocket, no string or deck cord or um, clips necessary. It just sort of drops this back in your pocket and then you have a knife in your hand. Ha. All right, well, so be sure to go over to Tier 1 Gear Reviews on YouTube and on Instagram. He's a great guy, very knowledgeable and with an amazing collection. And now he's doing this. And uh, man, hats off to you. I love what you're doing. Uh, I think these are beautiful. This one is especially to my liking, um, but I think they're all beautiful. So well done to you, Justin, and well done to you, sir, over at uh, um, Old Squirrel Knives. And of course, Duster Leather also. Uh, what, an, what a fantastic collaboration. This is the true meaning of collaboration and uh, beautifully done. Thanks for entrusting me uh, with these fine specimens.